EA Sports, it's in the game. EA Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, proudly presents the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live final round coverage of the BioWare Classic. It is just an ideal day for golf. Rich Lerner alongside Frank Nabilo for EA Sports. We're getting set for all the action this afternoon at Wetlands Golf and Country Club in Florida. And this is certainly a challenge, Frank. It is. We really should rename it Drylands because that's the way you want to play this golf course. If you're not dry, then you are going to be wet. That swampland uh, is just uh, all the way around this golf course. Um, in between it, though, is fairway. So fairway, the goal all day today. And as always, with the state of Florida, you have to factor in the changing winds. Good par three here at the 14th. It's a little bit more than 200 yards, Frank. And there's a bunker short. So you've got to fly that coming in there. And uh, if you do miss time one, that's when that body of water to the right really comes into play. Typical Floridian golf, but um, high flying, soft landing tee shot, once again, is the golf. Seems to like it. Looks like it's headed for the green. Midway through this back nine could use this birdie here at the 14th. Really? This is an awkward length. Frank had the touch of a plumber right there. Yeah, you'd like a redo, wouldn't you? Wake up, wake up! <laughs> And this will be a five-foot putt here. And he makes it for par. Final par five on the back side here at the wetlands. It's 590 yards. Which is really a tempting yardage. A good tee shot, perhaps. Think of reaching the par five and two. But uh, this green, well protected by three bunkers. Two on the left side and one short right. But, uh, hey, fortune favors the brave. At least that's what I was told. Second shot. Third shot, looking for a good one. I mean, that's how the game is played, right there. Oh, he's just making it look so easy. That birdie coming up, formality. And he's putting for birdie now. He's made it. The last par five on this golf course is the 15th. It's 590 yards. You think, Frank, this is the time to be aggressive? Certainly is. Longer hitters must be licking their chops on this par five. 300-plus uh, yard tee shot, you can definitely get home. Shorter hitters, just set it up for a nice uh, wedge shot. But if you are going to go at this par five and two, well protected by those three bunkers. Yeah, about 145 yards left here.
appears to be what they call a commercial play. Very solid. Oh, can't hide the flag stick from that man. Birdie try again here today. Good try. Just didn't quite read the break, Frank. Uh, it shouldn't be a problem, you'd think, cleaning up here for pop. And getting ready for the putt. That's good work. That's good par right there. 17th at the Wetlands, par 3, 238 yards. Frank, how would you describe this hole? Well, it's a hole, really, that shapes up well for a nice little high draw. See the angle of the green pointing slightly to the right. Um, a nice little draw into this par 3, and that'll find the nice avenue. Maybe a kick forward, 15, 20 feet left for birdie. And if you birdied 16, chance to birdie 17 as well. Frank, which way is this headed? Well, judging by his uh, body English, it looks like it's heading a little right. There is a bit of green out there, though. He's knocked it on the green, but not in a great position. This is a difficult chance coming up here. Long birdie try. Par yesterday. Now for birdie. Just slides by. Yeah, can't afford to miss too many of those out here today. And he has it. A good putt redeems all. Final hole here at the Wetlands Golf and Country Club. It's par four. It's not a long one, 377 yards. There must be some trouble out there somewhere. Well, not really if you keep your wits about you. Just position the tee shot. You don't have to hit driver down here. Even a three wood's only going to leave a short iron. If you hit a three wood, 250, 260 yards, do the maths. It's only 120 yards left. With that, with a scoring club, try and get that inside 10, 15 feet. Finish with a birdie. But if you stray, then what? Oh, no, no. We don't think of straying on this hole. This is the last hole. Got to finish well. But I'm thinking about gators. Are there gators out there? Uh, well, there's gator on the menu. Seems to like it. I'm headed for the fat part of the green. Really good distance control there, playing well to his strengths. Not a gimme, but well within his range. Just a fraction too aggressive. Remember, line and speed go together. Sometimes you want that birdie so badly and all of a sudden, you're faced with a lot of work, more work than you had hoped for, just to make the par. Workmanlike hole, he walks away with a par. And that wraps up the final round. Just a great performance by our champion today. Couldn't agree more, Rich. Uh, I think this one will have to go down in the books as an absolute classic. Fantastic play, not only in the course today, but all week long.